Hi everyone, uh, good morning and welcome to the Conversation Marketing video tutorials. Uh, today I wanted to talk about Google's new custom search engines for business. Now Google has had a custom search engine tool for quite some time uh, and a lot of folks have used them on their blogs but there's been a lot of people asking for additional features like the ability to make the search results page look like the website or even keep the search results on that person's website. Well, they've done that and they've launched this new service and it costs $100 a year for up to 5,000 pages and then I believe $500 a year for more. Uh, it's extremely affordable and offers a really good way to put a good, search, a good quality search tool on your website. So what I'd like to do today is a uh, 5 to 10 minute tutorial on how you set this engine up because it's very, very easy. Uh, anyone who can do a little bit of cutting and pasting in HTML can definitely set one of these up and it really can enhance the feature set on your website. So to start, you want to go to google.com co-op. The, uh, the, the, the overall brand under which Google started a lot of these custom search tools is the Google co-op. And if you already have an account, you want to sign in. If you don't have an account, you'll just create a standard Google account. So I won't walk you through that, but I'm going to sign in here. And then just click My Search Engines. And if you don't have a search engine yet, you won't see all these. I've created quite a few. But I'm just going to click New Search Engine on the left. Type in the name. This is any descriptive name. So I'll say Ian's Tutorial Search Engine. And I'll describe it. Test Search Engine for video tutorial and then keywords. Now when you create a search engine like this other people can find it and subscribe to it. So if you have a search engine that searches many sites or on a particular topic or emphasizes particular sites you can actually deliver the search engine to other people. In this case it's only going to be on my own site but that's okay I'll still put some of these in just so people can find me. These keywords become things that identify uh, the content or subject or the overall topic of your search engine. Okay, so I just put in some basic key phrases. It's going to be in English. It's only going to be sites I select because in this case, and this is what you'll probably want to do too, I'm just going to want it to search a single website, my website. So let's say I'm setting this up for poor10interactive.com. And notice if I wanted to, I could actually make this search engine search two sites. So this is an extremely versatile tool. If like there's a lot of companies out there that have multiple microsites or separate websites pertaining to different products or product lines, you can actually create a single search tool that searches them all just by typing it in here. Click next. So let's just type in the word test and it immediately searches the Port Interactive website and shows you what the results will look like. <clears throat> so I'm going to click Finish now. And now you see here's my search engine listed right here, Ian's Tutorial Search Engine. And I'll click Control Panel. That's where I want to go. And I'm immediately going to go to Business Edition. And I'm going to say Convert to Business Edition. And that will immediately let me set up all the additional features. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to spend another hundred dollars if I don't have to. Um, I'm instead going to take us over to the conversation marketing custom search tool which I created a few minutes ago. Um, but just to show you what's in the control panel now and how you'll configure it, notice you can always add or remove other sites. See that here? And you can also exclude specific sites. Look and feel. This is a pretty big one. Um, because what you're going to want to do here probably is add your logo, set the colors, and make sure that it's all tweaked and looking the way you want it to. Collaboration. I'm not going to talk too much about this one right now, but with collaboration features what you can do is you can invite other people to add other search engines or what are called annotations. And again, that's something I'll talk about next time to make your search engine, to, just to add additional content to the search engine make money you can display ads if you want to I specified this one was for a nonprofit so it won't let me do it but you can display Google uh, pay-per-click ads and get a commission if someone clicks on them 
and then you can preview it. So now let's go look at what a completed search engine looks like, just so I can show you how this all looks and works. So here's the business edition search engine, conversation marketing search engine. I go to my control panel. You can see I already typed in my description, some keywords, everything else. The only site it's searching is conversationmarketing.com. I'm not running any refinements right now. Look and feel, I've added in my logo. And notice that I customized the colors to match the colors of the Portent Interactive website. Uh, sorry, of the Conversation Marketing website. And here's my code. So I picked how I wanted it to look. I wanted to use the watermark for the uh, search box, which by the way doesn't show up in Safari, you'll see that in a minute. And then I can specify the page where I want the search results to appear so that on my blog, instead of having someone end up on google.com when they do a search, they'll end up on conversationmarketing.com. And what I did then, and I'll show you this in a moment, is I pasted this code into the footer of each page of my site, and that's my search box, and then I pasted this code into the body of the search results page, of this page, searchresults.htm. That way I keep people on my website when they do a search. And then under business edition, it's just going to tell me which edition I have purchased. I can index up to 5,000 pages and it's good for a year. And then notice you can also, you can take this even further, you can grab the results in XML and do a lot of custom formatting and publishing with them. You really don't need to. Uh, at least not unless you're doing something a little bit more elaborate. So now let's take a look at my blog and I'll show you what the result looks like in the code and then also in the finished on the finished product. So if you have a blog you have your templates page and I'll just use my about page as the example. And this looks like a bunch of gobbledygook I know but it's actually not that bad. If you just scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that I added this code. Google CSA search box begins and ends. This code is what I grabbed from this box, or actually from this box. It's the same code. So all I did was I cut this and I pasted it into my site. And the result looks like this. This code around it is other stuff that I put in. This is the search box right here. All right. And then I took this code, and this is my search results snippet, and I put it into a different template. I put it into a special template that I created. And if your site's a regular HTML site, then this would just be a separate static HTML page. And if that's gobbledygook, you'll want to talk to your webmaster or your HTML developer to have them do it. And all I did was cut and paste this snippet onto the page and save this page, searchresults.htm, so that now if I do a search on internet marketing, you see my results. A little bit of branding there, but that's it. Everything else is looking reasonably like my website. Plus, this has a lot of the nice features of Google search. So if I do a search on internet instead of internet, it comes up with, did you mean internet? I click that and it gives me the right result. So this is a very, very powerful tool that's very affordable. And you'll notice that that entire setup process really took me maybe five minutes. If you have to do it on every page of your site, when I actually did this configuration, it was about a 45 minute process uh, to have a, a pretty top end, top quality search tool on my website. So that's it for now. That was a quick walkthrough of how you set up the first engine. Next time I'm going to talk about analytics, how you can actually analyze the phrases that people are using to search on the site using Google Analytics or other tools. And then the time after that I'll talk about refinements and other advanced features. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you soon.